What you're seeing out here uh, today with the amphibious combat vehicle is we're conducting testing in conjunction with the U.S. Navy and the USS Somerset, and in particular amphibious testing. So we've got several vehicles out here that are configured at different weights, and what we're doing is essentially embarking the vehicles, disembarking the vehicles. So this is the first time that we've tested with actually Marines operating the vehicles, bringing the vehicles on board ship. So within the last four to five months, we've transitioned from British Aerospace Engineering and their contracted operators operating the vehicles. And then we've made the transition to actually Marines operating the vehicles. And so Marines are now getting that hands-on experience. And then they can give their feedback and lessons learned back to the program manager who is himself a Marine and, and try to make the vehicle better, so to speak, before they go into full raid production. This vehicle in replacing the amphibious assault vehicle brings enhanced lethality, survivability, and maneuverability. So you really think about those three tenets when you talk about a, a armored vehicle and what it can bring to the fight. And this vehicle is far superior in those three characteristics. So ship to shore, conducting an amphibious assault, so on and so forth, this vehicle will greatly enhance the Marine Corps' ability to conduct an assault should it be called upon to do so in the future.